How is everybody doing today? Today we're going to talk about overlays for the Rebus Spin. So without further ado, let's go. First things first, we need to find out the dimensions that you need for this specific template that you're going to choose from Riverspin. So you go to riverspin.com. You can do this also from your, you can also do this from your app directly. You will go to your help documentations under the settings and you can definitely go and look it up from there. But from here, we will go to home, menu, support, knowledge base. And in here, we're gonna go down to app, Ribospin 360 app. Also, you have a here how to add an overlay. They tell you exactly step-by-step, step, but in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make an overlay and how to upload it into the Ribospin app through the phone. So in here, as you can see, this graphic overlay dimensions, you click on it and it's gonna tell you exactly the measurements that you need. If you want a portrait, landscape or square, whatever you choose. After you have selected which template you are going to use and you know for sure the size of your template, you're going to go to Canva. In my case, I use Canva a lot. If you have any other software, I will please, I will ask you to please share it in a comment to see how that work is working out for you. Uh, so far, Canva has been an amazing thing for me and I don't, I don't plan it, I'm not planning to change it. So we're gonna go to Canva. <clears throat> As you can see, I just made this overlay today for a client for an event that I have this Saturday. Asked my client to send me a picture of Sophia. As you can see, she's a gorgeous uh, girl. And uh, this is another overlay that I did for the past event on last Saturday for the St. Jude Research Hospital mile. play literally took me if it took me 15 minutes, it was too much. It was a very easy overlay to do. This one, uh, based on creating ideas and try to imagining how you wanted to set up, it probably took about 30 minutes or so. We're just gonna add a page here. So this is a, my, my new blank page, thumbnails. As you can see, all these things gonna pop up. You press, always go for the blank one. At this point in time, while you're in Canva, if you are using a laptop or a computer or whatever you want, you're going to resize this blank document. You're going to resize it to the size you already selected for your uh, Rebo spin. So we're going to double check. We're going to do the portrait mode, 1080 by 1918. So we're going to go to back to Canva. And we're going to go to this little logo right here. Unfortunately, the resize is a pay is a for the pro subscription only. Therefore, if you have the pro subscription to Canva, I recommend you to get it if you have the means to it because it's really, really, really useful. You're gonna use it a lot. I already have a recent thing. It says uh, uh, 1080 by 19, 1080 by 1918. Click on it, copy and resize. And as you can see, this is going to get, boom, there you go. That's the size I need in order to make my overlay for uh, my Rebel Spin. So now that I have that set up, uh, right now, just a blank page. Now I'm gonna go to elements. The first one we're gonna do is going to be this one, okay? We're gonna go to elements. And first, I what I do, I usually go for the colors. So in this case, it's, uh, as you can see, it's a rainbow in the top, rainbow in the bottom, and it looks like glitter. To me so therefore we're gonna exactly do that rainbow oh rainbow confetti i'm sorry rainbow confetti and i look it up and as you can see you have all kinds of options those that have the little uh crown on the top on the corner it means that they are the pro version which means in order you for you to get it you need to have the pro but you as you can see you also have a few free ones uh that you can use also uh, your choices are getting, I noticed that they are getting less and less options for the free, for the people that wants to use the free version. But I mean, there's still some choices, but it's getting smaller, the gap between uh, one and the other. 
So therefore, if you have the means, try to get you the paid version because it's a lot easier in many ways. So uh, in this case, we are going to make the last one that I make. So I think I seen it here. There you go. This one, you can move it anywhere. All you gotta do is just click on it and it automatically adds it to it. You can move this anywhere. So we're gonna put it there. We're gonna make sure that we fill the whole thing. And then since you're gonna use the same one on the top and to the bottom, like I did on this one, top and bottom, we're gonna go ahead and click on it. And this menu is gonna pop up and just click duplicate. So as you can see, I already duplicated. So you're just gonna grab it. And as you can see, I have two of them. If you want to make this one go up, you can just move this up or you can go to here to flip. And as you can see, it says flip vertical and it flips it for you. So you're gonna do the exact same thing you do on the top, you don't even do the bottom. And as you can see, uh, it start looking up, start pretty much looking like that, like the same one. Now you're just going to look for confetti. In this case, I have a few options of confetti. I'm not quite sure which I use in here. Uh, okay, got it. So, and of course you have multiple options. You just gonna have to look for what, this is where your imagination kicks in and uh, you, you make it as fun as you might like. For example, this one seems a little fun to do. Every time you click one, you're gonna have a magic recommendation. So, Let's see this one, Let's see? I want something that has a lot on the bottom. Make it like a floor kind of type of thing. Oh, these are the confettis I used on the other one too, if I'm not mistaken. This one's in the corner, see? So I select those and I'm gonna pull them all the way down. There you go. Once again, remember the duplicate thing, you're just gonna go ahead and duplicate it. And you're gonna flip it so it can go the other side and bound. As you can see, Canva will help you align it too. There you go. All righty. And now we're going to do a little a little rainbow confetti. I think it's the one upstairs. Confetti background and potty poppers. So you can see the potty poppers. I have multiple selection here. This is a great thing about Canva. It's just a lot, a lot. So out of this confetti, let's see one. I don't see the confetti, I think it's this one. Let's assume that you want this one. As you can see, this is more of a photo. Let's assume that you would like to use this one. You can try because it doesn't work all the time, but you can go ahead and try to edit image and remove background. Let's see what it does. And I will show you how you can double check if I actually removed the background or not. But then also the app will let you know if you removed the background. It looks like it did. How you know? Voila, it removed the background, bing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this down here. We're gonna spend it all the way. As you can see on the bottom, it looks like that. We're gonna send it to the background. All you gotta do, is just click on the image, right click on it and you will have this menu popping up. Once it pop up, you can send it to the back, send it to the backward, send it backward. It means you're only gonna send it behind one item that you're already looking at or send it to the back, it will send, all that's why I got the multiple layers with the arrow. It will send it all the way to the back. So watch. See, as you can see, send it all the way to the back. All the items are in the front, and I'm gonna push this down a little bit, like that. Make it a little happy, happy, happy campers. And I have this one. Oh, this one in here. I can work with this one up. Up. You can go to here. You can go here. Boom, 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 boom. Now, some people might say you don't have enough room in the middle to actually put the pictures in the video. Okay, that's fine. Just grab it and move it up. Don't complicate yourself. Just grab it and move it up. You got a little confetti on the bottom, confetti on the top. This one is a very plain and simple. If you want to see it from a different perspective and a different color, just click on it 
And on the sidebar here, you have something called backgrounds. Go to this icon where it says backgrounds, change it to black so you can have a different view and voila. As you can see, this is the one I made for the, and this one is the other one. As a matter of fact, this one, I think it looks even better because this one has some sort of, see? That was taken from a picture, but the picture ends there. And I don't like it when it ends there. I like it to keep flowing like this one. See, the flow is still kind of looks pretty cool in the air. And this one kind of ended there somewhere. So, and all you got to do from now on, once again, you have to have the pro version of Canva to do this. Once you have it and you have, uh, make sure that that's, everything looks okay. You're going to go to share. And once you're in share, you're gonna to go to download. And in here is when it gets fun. Uh, it's always download on the PNG version. And in here you see transparent background, click on it and download. And it's gonna go ahead and download. If you wanna change the name, go ahead. Most likely will be a great idea when you change it as soon as it pop up and it lets you know that you can save it in your computer. Like in this case is doing that, see? Now I'm gonna change it to, uh, tutorial and I'm going to go ahead and save it <clears throat> and now let's see how we're going to add this into an event on RiboSpin. Okay so now what you need to do is once you download that overlay transparent PNG version into your computer if you have an iMac and you have an iPhone all you got to do is just airdrop it to from your iMac to your iPhone which in this case, I'm going to go ahead and do share airdrop. And on the iPhone, obviously you're going to have the option to send it to your baby. There you go, it's coming. You hear that noise and there it is. So <clears throat> as you can see, that is the overlay that we have created. So you can see that's the full page. And now all you have to do is you're going to go back to your main screen. You're going to open up your RiboSpin app. And then you're going to, if you have the, the free version, you're just going to go ahead and press the subscription use for free. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. Date, done. Date, today. Uh, location, house. Done. Description, tutorial, email message. You already know what that is. An email message is basically a custom message that you will like for your client to receive once you send the video via email. And the same thing would be a text message. You press next. In this case, remember, we already selected a portrait. So we're going to go ahead and select portrait. Always try to use the ultra wide angle. Next. Always put it on high quality, record time. Most people will like to use the six record time on the RiboSpin app. On TouchPick, it's a little different, but on RiboSpin, it's always a good to six. And my countdown, I always leave it at three. Camera, always back camera. File, I'm going to go ahead and use the file that I have already installed on my phone, but that's another uh, tutorial that I will give you guys later on. Choose documents. And I will go ahead and pick this file. As you can see, it's there. Okay. Next, <clears throat> there's a section where it says select general overlays. All you got to do is this is the easiest thing you ever going to do. Tap on it. As you already know, when I airdrop the overlay from my computer into my phone, it went to my photo library, so therefore click photo library. It's the last one I already know because it usually will be the last one, of course. So I'm gonna select it and it's right there. So create event. <clears throat> I suggest that you always test out the overlays before the event. So therefore we're gonna select the event. Yes, start the event. As you already know, go to next and let's go ahead and record it. One. 
is processing and let's see the final video so you can see how the overlay looks. As you can see, the overlay is perfect. Also, a rule of thumb, six seconds, it will give you 18 seconds total. This is just a, tip, a free tip I'm giving you right now because this was not part of the video, but I'm gonna go ahead. As you can see, I have it set at six seconds, three second countdown, and I always have it at 60 frames per second, boomerang speed, I have. Why? Because the processing time of the video is a lot shorter. That's it. So for today, that will be it, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, that will be it for today. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to hit me up on my Facebook page, Frank's Memory Booth. Just go ahead and send me any type of message, any type of questions. If you like the one-on-one -on -one with me, you can also set up one. We can do a Zoom call and I can guide you, guide you to the whole entire Revo spin setup. Uh, anything that you like to know about the 360 photo booth business, you can hit me up. I'm pretty sure that I have done enough one-on-ones. I have a, a, enough experience to actually let you know what you can troubleshoot in case that you face any type of troubles during an event. I can also set up your event if you want to. So basically I can do whatever you want me to do. And uh, if I don't know the answer, I can promise you we will both find the answer. So. Without further ado, thank you for watching my YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share this video. And like I always said, wherever you go, take God with you. And if you can't take him, well, guess what? Don't go. Peace out, people. Take care. Love you.